Uh, so tell me, what's the uh, writing process like for uh, Bentney? Well, at first, um, a few years ago, uh, Courtney Swain and I started collaborating on um, writing songs. Like, at, at, well, we met. We were we both went to school together at Berkeley College of Music in Boston, and um, I did this experiment where I had a bunch of my friends who were singers get in a room and we improvised choral arrangements and uh, long story short Courtney was the only one who really did it right in my opinion and that's kind of how we started our friendship was from that jam and afterwards we decided it would be good to uh, co-write some music and I drew a picture and made a backing track and then she sang and wrote lyrics uh, and recorded herself doing that and that uh, backing track plus singing lyrics melody thingy ended up being Urban Circus which was the first song we wrote together Okay. and uh, that's how we started <laughs> so the whole uh, Berkeley School of Music tell me what that experience has been like for you guys amazing amazing um, there it's a small school run by musicians by no means business people so you know there are these all these quirks and uh you know some people don't like it they leave quickly and uh, some people like us um, stay through the whole thing but for me what, what's really changed my life is the uh the community of people who go there um you know you think it's a school of musicians so everyone's always getting high always getting drunk uh complete opposite um everyone's Sometimes. Well, sometimes. I guess it depends on the people, too, but uh, maybe my impression of the student body is that everyone is just always striving to do something, and it's kind of a very fortunate bunch of people who found have found what they want to do with their life. Um, so it's so inspiring to be with them. And uh, I mean, it's a little stressful sometimes uh, because you're a musician and you go to music school, so you do music all day, every day, uh, and, you know, you think about resting or doing something else and just like okay someone's practicing right now I should, I should probably be practicing too uh, uh, but no it's it's a great place and I think um, a, a lot of people go there um, just expecting the school to make them better at music and I think um, the cur you can't just do the curriculum and be then really great at music you have to work really hard on your own stuff and on the side, you have to always be working on other things or else something will, you know, it, you won't be balanced. Uh, you'll be like, I'm great at theory now, but where did my soul go? <laughs> Um, well, I think me and Chris kind of, uh, our answers kind of work together. We're 
a definite a definite ambient texture and quality to the group. Um, it flushes out what wouldn't be there if it was just like a, um, I guess the bass, guitar, drum, uh, three piece. Yeah, it makes it a little more orchestral in nature. We can add a lot more yeah. timbres to the music, which is fun. And and I think that the violin and accordion especially, and well, what Vince does with the vocals too, are all very unusual elements, and you don't normally see them in a rock band. Mm. So uh, I think it immediately makes us stand out a little bit uh, and makes the sound pretty intriguing to listen to because it, it's not something that people generally hear.
Let's eat.